One of the things you can do while you're using your Flort browser is add extensions and add-ons onto it so that you can add additional features and components that didn't come with it to begin with. Uh, things like ad blockers or LastPass logins to kind of keep track of all your passwords or activate a VPN, all of those sorts of things are kind of built in using an add-on. And to find those, you go into your Florp settings and go to extensions and themes in the left-hand sidebar at the bottom. And here are all the ones that I have. So these are things like things that'll get rid of cookies for me because they're the little pop-ups that warn me about cookies because that's kind of annoying. Uh, Keepa that tracks prices on Amazon. Uh, momentum, which allows me to kind of keep focused on tasks during the day, all these great different features. Uh, but if I want something else, rather than just being able to toggle these on or off or remove them or report them, I can also search on the Firefox website for different extensions that I might be interested in using. Because Florp is built using Firefox, it uses all of the same extensions and also the same marketplace of add-ons and extensions as well. So I'm going to look up weather and that's just going to open up the Firefox website and it's going to recommend me different uh, apps that will tell me what the weather is. So here is the forecast Fox, which is one of the recommended ones. They've also recommended the weather extension. Uh, and if I click on this one, I can click the big blue button to add that to Firefox. It'll ask me to confirm my choice and I'll say, say yes. And then it'll also be like, hey, you know, we've we've installed this extension. And if you want to tweak anything, you'll have to do so through the application menu, which is fine. I don't mind that. Um, and so this will tell me how this works, all the different options, but I don't necessarily need that right now. So where is my new tool? Here it is, Forecast Fox. What can I do for this? I want to pin this to my toolbar so I can tell what the weather is like. And I don't live wherever this is. How do I change my location from New York? Because it's definitely not where I live. New location. I want... I would like Castle Rock, Colorado. And let's see what it finds me for Castle Rock, Colorado, because that's kind of close to where I live, but not so close that people on the Internet will try to find me. If this wants to work, because it's using data from AccuWeather, which is fine, but it's also having a heck of a time actually finding my location. So 80124, I think, is the zip code over there. All right, well, this particular add-on's not working, so that's a great way for me to illustrate how to remove add-ons. So one of the ways you can do it is just right back here on the add-on page where you added it. I can just click this gray remove button and it'll get rid of it. The other thing I can do is I can actually go up here to this little puzzle piece at the top of the screen and go to manage extensions. You can also go through here through the settings page, just go to the left-hand sidebar and on the bottom, it says extensions and themes. And then because forecast Fox doesn't work, I'm going to click it and I'm going to click to remove it and then confirm that I want to remove it. So that one didn't work for whatever reason. Uh, let's try the weather extension just for shits and giggles. By Tim, good guy, Tim. And let's again add this pinned to my upper taskbar here. And let's see if it'll actually tell me what the weather is in my area. So it did at least detect that I live in Colorado. It's picked Denver, which is close enough to me for comfort. And it's 36 degrees outside. And it looks like for the next day, it's going to be 62 for the high, 31 for the low. Okay, well, that's good. That's good to know. We might have some liquid uh, rain or snow this weekend going into Monday. All right. Well, it's nice to have an extension that works and you can find extensions for just about anything that you want. Uh, if you go back over here, so we can go to extensions and they've got different categories like games 
or download managers or appearance and themes and that sort of stuff. All of these things you can search and see what might uh, float your goat for something that's usable. Otherwise, that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This is a brief look at how to get extensions for, uh, for Floor through the Firefox store and how to remove them. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.